So let me begin by thanking the vast, vast, vast majority of the public who, when I meet them, are just supportive and grateful. <clears throat> and I deeply appreciate that. Um, the workload was horrendous for all of us at the beginning. It certainly was in the kind of 16 hours a day mark, and it certainly was seven days a week. It was very, very intense. Where I think, you know, it finally got to me was the fact that I might have, um, yeah, I might have expected that if a crisis happened, this was, you know, my responsibility to bear that kind of workload. I did not expect my family to be um, threatened with having their th throats cut. I did not expect the um, police to have to say, will you move out in the middle of the night, or well, in the middle of the evening, will you ma move out for a few days while we look at this and potentially make some arrests? You know, um, we didn't move out because of the cat, as it happened, we didn't want to leave the cat. But it was a very stressful time indeed. And, um, you know, I, my family didn't sign up for that. And I, I only make this point because I'm so worried that if there's a future crisis, um, people will not want to sign up for these roles.